Hey guys, TC here with another quick tank review for you. Today we're going to look at the Panzerkampfwagen B2740F, uh, or more commonly known as the B2. This is the German Tier 4 Premium version of the French B1 heavy tank. Um, Germany captured a few of these, took out the front weak spot, plated it off with armour, gave it a rubbish gun, and used them. Uh, it's a very special premium tank. It is occasionally for sale uh, in the gift shop. Um, last time it was for sale it was bundled for about 50 euros with a load of gold and premium days. You can buy just the tank um, from eBay codes um, online on eBay if you just search World of Tanks B2 on eBay. Um, they're available for about £20 or so um, or wherever your local uh, currency is. Um, it gets very, very specific matchmaking. It will only, it will always be top tier. You will never see tier fives in this tank. Tier fours and below are all you will see. Obviously, because it's a premium tank, you can put any crew you want in it. This crew has three members of a mouse crew, and because it has two radio operators, I'm actually training a specific Panzer B2 radio operator in this tank, purely for simplicity. It gets 400 hit points, uh, which is one of the higher amounts at uh, its tier. It can weigh up to 33 tonnes, mine's 30.1, 30, 30 tonnes and 65. Um, it gets a really good traverse speed. Um, it turns very quickly, this tank, of 45 degrees per second. And it's pretty mobile, it gets up and goes. Um, that being said, it does have very tough hull armor, 60 mil front and side, front and re front and sides, and 55 at the rear. The turret is the weak spot at 46 mil all round. So if you do engage these vehicles, aim for the turret. It is a weak spot. Uh, very low alpha damage on the shell, but it does have a really high rate of fire with 27.6 rounds a minute, and it takes just over two seconds to reload the gun. So it is very much a machine gun style play. A 348 meter view range, not the best, but it's okay. So the gun is a little tier 2 gun. Um, 55 mil of pen, standard, isn't fantastic, but it's okay. 90 mil with the APCR, uh, 0.39 accuracy and a 1.1 second aim time. It does aim very quickly, uh, aims quicker than it reloads, which is good, but it isn't very accurate. As was pointed out by somebody in my mouse review when I thought 0.38 was okay. Um, so so you will find a lot of people, and I hold my hands up, I am one of those who fit nothing but APCR ammunition into that vehicle. Um, however, you can make profit with this vehicle just firing APCR, but you do need to be doing a decent chunk of damage. The gameplay I've got to show you doesn't actually doesn't actually have a, have it make any credits because I did use one of the large uh, consumables that I use, which cost me twenty thousand. Else I would have made thirteen thousand credits even with the APCR did fire. Uh, tier five engine, so it's got a, so it's got a good get up and go. My equipment um, isn't conventional, but vents, a big toolbox, and a spall liner. You'll normally find that people, when they can't penetrate, you switch to HE, so the spar liner does negate a, a fair chunk of that damage. The big repair, the big toolbox, I've got a full repair crew on it anyway, but the big toolbox just makes it even faster. And couple that with a big repair pack, which adds 10% to the module repair speed when you don't use it. It just repairs in no time at all from being tracked. Uh, and the vents obviously add 5% to all crew skills, just for that little bit of extra. Um, so as I said, full APCR loadout, and the standard big repair kit, big med kit, um, auto fire extinguisher. I did say I was going to explain why I use them, so I'm going to do that in this video. The reason, I f the reason I'm carrying these is because as you see, the big med kit, when in use, it repairs all of your modules in a single use, but when it's permanent, when you don't use it, you get 10% so your speed of module repairs. So if you have a full repair kit, you have a big toolbox, you have events, and you've got the big repair kit, I think your track repair is something like 4 seconds. It's very, very, very fast. The big med kit, that gives 15% extra protection to crew against injuries. So if you get hit by HE, you know, you've got a, you've got 15% less chance of having your crew knocked out. I mean, a crew member knocked out by injury. 
The same with the fire extinguisher. You get an extra 10% fire protection. So this engine has a 20% chance of being set on fire with the big, with the uh, with your large um, with your large fire extinguisher. It now has I think it's it might be 10% or it might be 18 might be, might be 18%. I think it's 18% chance of being set on fire. I'm not sure how it stacks. I've still got to figure that out. So that's why I run those big those big packs. The and because obviously when you get hit, if you get take if your multiple modules are taken out and you've got a choice of putting say your gun or your ammo rack back in action, well you want them both in action, but you always go for the ammo rack for you've got the quicker reload. What happens if your engine and your track is taken out at the same time? Well, there's no point repairing your track if your engine don't work because you're not going anywhere. The med kit, your gunner gets taken out and your loader gets taken out, or your driver and your commander. You know, it eliminates the choice of which one do I take out, which one do I put back in, and it makes you a little bit quicker on the battlefield as well, because all you're simply doing is pushing four or five, in my case, and they back in. So, that's why I run that setup. Um, the tank is a bit of a padder tank. Um, it is quite easy to get a very high win rate in the vehicle. I'm 65% out of about a couple of hundred games or so. And I'm, you know, I'm an I'm a, I'm an I'm an average player. Good players can do exceptionally well, exceptionally well. Uh, the gameplay I've got coming up for you isn't mastery, although I do have my mastery badge in this tank. Um, it's a first class gameplay, but it's also so, there's also some good teamwork, and you can get to see the interaction in the bull clan. Um, there's myself and a couple of clan mates, and we actually achieve a crucial contribution in the uh, in our platoon. So let's go on to the gameplay. Okay, here we go. So we're on Bruenberg. As you can see, I'm in a platoon with Grunt and Blackie. Um, Blackie is a regular viewer of the live stream, so you may recognise his name. Grunt hasn't well, Grunt doesn't work, Grunt, Grunt hasn't been seen in the live stream, but he's a good guy. Um, as you can see, there's me and Grunt in our B2s and Blackie in his Valentine 2. Um, that's another good premium vehicle. Uh, it's a Russian light tank. It's anything but a light tank with its armor profile. It's actually more heavily armored than the than this vehicle is, uh, and it also gets fixed matchmaking. So, uh, countdown's rolling in. It's a tier four game, as you'd expect. Let's speed up the countdown, and we'll push forward. So here we go. Um, we're going to head into the town area. All four of all three of us, and we're going to work together and support each other. We're pushing forwards into town now. So we'll speed up the gameplay a bit so we can get involved. In case we get to the corner here, and we're going to push forward. We don't mind having our side shown to our opposition. Put a shot in on the move on the grant there, and then we pull back and angle very slightly and put some shots into the side of these grant and M3 Lee. Bit of a poor shot there. As you can see, we've taken a couple of HE shells and they've done no damage to us. Spall liner coming in useful there. Grunt gets his full kill on the LTP and our Wesp shuts down the Type 95. I'm going to push forward onto the back of this M3 Lee and Grant. So here we go, we've got the rear of the Grant. Rear of the M3 Lee, sorry. They're identical tanks. We take out one. We track the Grant. And we take him out. And you see, we've taken a couple of HE shits from this T95. And they've done no damage to us at all. Okay. So we've now got three kills in quick succession. Four kills in quick succession now. We bounce off the priest. We put one good shot into him. Then we aim at the SU85. A very quick game, this. We try to feather a shot onto the prick, put one shot into him, and then Grunt steals the kill. Pushing forward, there's a Valentine 2 behind us. Grunt's indicated on the map that we need to think about taking out the light tank that you see on the map in K6. So overcomes here, he's saying, should I push the banana hood or should I come back? I think, we sh I think we'll be fine. So, there's one arty left, where is he? Where is it? And he's right there, right in front of us. Put one shot into him. Three shot. We take him out. 
Now he took a he, now he took a lot he took an art, artillery shell to the face there and only took 95 damage. Again, more proof that the spall liner works at this tier for this vehicle. We also took a shot off the SU76, I believe it is, on the opposition. But again, no damage. We've lost our gun and our tracks. So there we go, the big repair kit in action, gun and tracks back in action. We might not have needed it, but at the range we're going to be engaging, decided it was worthwhile. And, um, yep, we did just kill steal that SU-76 for 5 hit points. We're on 1,081 damage, I'm on I'm on 6 kills, Grunt's on 4, and Blackie is on 1. We need 1 more kill for Brothers in Arms. I'm on 2,011 W efficiency and 3,662 WNA. I get a couple. Of, I can see the outline of the BT-7, so I'm trying to feather some shots onto him. I get one shot into it, and Blackie gets his sec. Blackie gets the kill there as well. So we're currently still on 11. We're on 11 kills now. And Grunt gets the Grunt gets his fifth. So there we go. That's us on brothers. That's us on now on a crucial contribution with a le with 12 kills between the platoon. I'm not going to get involved in this next engagement, so I keep pushing forward as quickly as I can do, though. Seven seconds left on the. Are we going to get another kill? Nope. Kill denied. The team capped out. Not a problem, though. No, we can live with that. And there's the game over very very quickly. Okay guys, here's, here's the post-game stats, as you can see. Uh, it was a first-class game, we got Bruiser, Duelist and a couple of other badges. We got the, we got the Cool-Headed for surviving 10 ricochets in a row, the Crucial Contribution Medal, the High Calibre and the Top Gun. We earned 38,103 credits and 4,833 XP. It was on a times 3 though. As you can see, the really detailed results that I've got on my mod pack. Uh, it gives us our battle teams we've just gone through, but our repairs, ammunition and consumable costs, again we'll see at the end, but the WN8 there in total, 5,148. Let's look at the post game, let's look at the team scores. Okay, team scores there, as you can see, we're top of the tree, uh, with 1,131 damage and our 6 kills, and 1,074 base XP. Next up, we have our platoon mate Grunt, with 888 and 5 kills, and Blackie's some way down the table with 91 and a single kill. But hey, kill steal's a kill, st kill steal's still a kill. A detailed report, as you can see there, um, fired 31, of which 25 hit and 24 penetrated. Even with your premium ammunition, the poor accuracy of the gun and its low penetration isn't a guaranteed pen. It will bounce. So, gold ammo is not an eye win. So, coming up next on my replays, we've got the BAT25T Brothers in Arms game uh, with Sidokus from the, from the stream. Um, you've already seen the KV2 and the mouse. Going to also put up this game here, Big Mama shaking her thing. Um, it was a really nice game that in the uh, I in the OI. So we'll do so we'll do that. So keep an eye out for those coming on the YouTube channel soon, guys. If you're new, please follow the channel. Um, please subscribe and follow. up. There's loads of videos knocking about here for you to have a look at. Um, and yeah, so Panzer B2, uh, well worth the twenty quid off eBay, guys. It's a really fun tank. It's fixed matchmaking, so you won't get. You won't get, you know, it is a seal clubber tank, but it's a fun tank at the same time. Just be prepared to load it with APCR. And as I said before, it was a 7,000 credit loss that game, but had we not used the big repair kit, would have been a 13,000 credit profit. So it does work because of the cheap value of the APCR on this tank. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you on the next review, guys. Bye.